This conference okay, will now be recorded. Uh, okay, fine. So we'll start our sessions today. And before that, uh, I just updated our data set. Okay, uh, the name is uh, first data and then second data. Uh, if you check that uh, here, okay, and then I sent it in a WhatsApp group too. Okay, you can download this file and then we can able to start work with this Tableau session number 10. Okay, I hope it is 11, I guess. Yeah, it is 11. Okay, so we can start a session. So first, a little bit, I just uh, added some few things uh, for the concept name. We can able to work for advanced level of data blending. Okay, so that is what our today's concept. And before that, I just create a session number here. In Tableau session number 11. Okay, right. So inside here, I'm going to build today some little more work for our concept. Okay, so what are the things we can able to pull it here? Let's see. So the first one, we're going to target with this two file, first data and then second data. I can able to talk about node. Okay, a little format for that visible. Okay, so in Tableau today we're going to work with advanced level of data blending. Okay, after that we're going to work with this is the first one and number two Tableau data blending calculated field how to work with that okay already from last session we seen that how to blend the two data a little more uh, i just added some few things from today you just start to use this file okay not for the previous file okay right so we can able to work with these two files okay so later we can able to see that uh, how to work with that latest uh, covid 19 uh, the status uh, data sets and then one more data set I sent in our WhatsApp group that is what a uh, movie data sets okay in some few days before I just talked about that uh, some of the movie uh, retrieval things so that a uh, part by part we can able to look on this uh, session number 11 okay right so is it clear let me start our session Ah, fine, good. And Surabhi and Ananya, Nitya, Sanjana, Alia, Shreya, Kritika. Yeah, is it my voice is clear, right? So shall we start that a session? Yeah, fine. Let's kick off. Okay, right. So now, uh, once we done it, okay, right. So before the data set, I can able to make it clear. Okay, right. I will open this two data set file. Okay, I'll just tell you that uh, what is inside that data which I added in that updated one. Okay, so the first data. Okay, so this is the first data. I'll just uh, open and I can able to create it off. Okay, a little bit what I said I updated in the sense. Okay, right. So one is uh, before that file I just given only sales. Okay, so here I just added that column name can be called as first sales. Okay, for that column wise, I'm going to uh, make it clear. So that is what only from here I just added. So only first sales which I added, same similar kind of data sets. Okay, right. So serial number, product, state, and then region. Okay, fine. So thus I can able to make it from the left hand side of the column. Okay, and second one for the second file. Okay, so little bit I can able to make it right hand side. Okay, so from the last sessions, okay, what is happened? You guess uh, in that both the files I have that same column. Okay, right. So for example, uh, I have your product here, and here also I have another product. Okay, so what is happened? Easily it is get data blend. Okay, in some few scenarios, what will happen? Okay, if that, uh, what is that? Uh, when I have that 
different data okay but only one fields are same okay one field is same in the sense here you can able to see that in first data set i have that one common field can be called a state in that second data i can have an a common uh, data set name can be called a state okay that is that is that thing okay so in previous exercises what is happened i have that product along with the product along with the state i can have that same data okay right but here what i have i have only one data which is common for both the files okay right so for this type of things how we can able to crack the scenarios okay and then uh, one more column which i added for the size okay small box size black what is a large box and medium box some different fields are there instead of product i given that some other data okay and here you can see that here i can able to have that region and here i can have that column can be called as locations okay so column only it is get different and then from last sessions that fields also it is get same but here the fields also it's very different here i can have first sales and here i can have that what is it second sales okay right so how to do this blending okay for this data blending when i have the different data sets okay if i have only one fields are common and then uh, remaining columns are actually it is different okay so that is that main concept today we are going to look at that okay right so let's start so what is that concept here we can able to find that state and here also we have that find the state but which columns we going to work with this data blending in the sense so this region column and i am going to blend with this second of that location okay why because inside the column is different but inside that data is all same okay so here you can able to find east west south north and here you can able to find east west south north so so that means the column is get different but inside the data is all same that's enough for me okay right so when you can able to do the data blends whatever the column names may be a different but inside that column the fields that means that data okay right the values it should be same okay so that moment you can able to easily find that our uh, what is that um, data blendings you can able to work with that okay so this is that the main thing uh, before starting that uh, our tableau okay we going to check up okay right so let's start that our work and then i can start that tableau and uh, for this session okay right so if you have data simultaneously you can able to work one time and then later you can able to practice from after some times okay right why because it is little tricky part okay so but that moment you can able to work with me in your laptops okay you can able to get it that idea about the data blending and if you couldn't able to understand uh, some few concepts or steps uh, Uh, let me know that okay again i will repeat one more time okay fine so is it clear right is it clear for everyone yes fine good uh, uh surabhi and ananya yeah nitya fine good uh, sanjana yeah fine good right shreya uh, ali okay uh, shreya is it clear yeah fine good okay so let's start so now so uh, in previous sessions i let you know that how to connect that two data set okay so once if your tableau is get opened and two files are excel what is a microsoft excel file only so now i am going to click this microsoft excel and in our desktop location okay in our tableau folder so in tableau session number 11 and i am going to prefer this first data i'm going to uh, import it in our tableau okay so once if it is taken some few seconds for the executing and you need to go and click on this uh, what is a sheet okay whatever that uh, the columns everything will be displayed so the serial number will be there in the measures and then the product is comes under dimensions okay fine so everything is working fine no issues now when i click that sheet one okay this is that first sheet okay that sheet one first data okay now i want that second data that should be import in this uh, our tableau 
So from here, you can able to go and click on this data. So once if you click the data, okay, you can able to get that one more option can be called as new data source. Okay, right. You can able to find go to the data menu. And then you can able to click on that new data source. That is a shortcut key can be called as control plus D. So once if you click and immediately you can able to choose that one more file, Microsoft Excel. I'm going to choose second data. Okay, right. So second file also I'm just going to import in this. Uh, what is a tab? Now? Okay, so this is that second data uh, size uh, state and then location and then second sales. Okay, fine. So in that sheet one, I can able to find the two files. One is sheet one, that is the first data and second one is sheet one of data. Two. Okay, you can able to see that the column, it is get changed. Okay, it's entirely different column, but only one column is constant. That is that nothing but state column. Okay, right. But for which column we're going to work with the data blend? We're going to work with the data blend for the region column. Okay, right. So we have to work with the region column for the first data. We're going to work with the data blending for that uh, second data. That is nothing but location. Okay, fine. So once if you get imported the two files, okay, that means you are sheet one of first data and then for that sheet one for that second data. Okay, right. So let's start. So now once we done it, okay, right. So what we have to supposed to do, we have to go with data blending. Okay, right. So for that, again, I'll make some small notes here. Sorry. Data blending, we going to apply, okay, for the first data of region and for that second data, we going to work with location. Okay, right. So this is what our task. Okay, fine here. So data blending, first data of region and then second data for the location. Okay, fine. So first we will make it data here and later we can able to go for that. Okay, data blending calculated fields. Okay, I'll just minimize this. Okay, fine. So now from the first step, I can able to go and click on this data menu. Now you can able to find that options can be called as edit blend relationships. Okay, right. So click on this relationship for that edit blend. Now you can able to find sheet one first data. That is what you are primary. Okay, right. You can choose any, any, anything you can able to prefer it. It doesn't matter. Okay, right. If you want to work with, uh, what is a data source of second also no issues. Okay. If you want to choose a uh, primary, that means, uh, I'm setting this person is the topper. Okay. Right. So fine. So once if I get selected of the sheet one, okay. Right. And then this is for the sheet two. Okay. Fine. So now. I'll just close it. I'm not going to apply now. I'm not going to choose anything. Okay. Why? Because we need some charts here. Okay. So separately before doing this uh, data blending, what I will do, I can take a charts for the each person. Okay. Fine. Is it clear? Right. First one in sheet one, I can able to go to the tree name. I can make it first data. Sorry. First data. Okay. So what is the first data I'm going to choose from the first data? I'm going to take that rows in that fields and then for the first sales, I'm going to apply into that columns. Okay. Right. So little bit for, for presentations. Okay. For presentations wise, we can able to make it clear and then for that state, I can able to make it little color. Okay. Right. So here for that Andhra Pradesh, it contains the total sales is 1007. Okay, 1007 is that total sales in the first data. Okay, when you go for the Gujarat, 6921 data is for that, uh, what is that, first data. And then uh, for Karnataka, it takes 
23,105 for the first data. Okay, right. For sales wise, if you want to get the label, you just drag and then you can able to apply. Instead of telling, you can able to view the presentations. It's much better with us. Okay, right. So this is that first data set. Okay, right. First data from that state wise and then uh, we just dragged it. Okay, right. So now from the second sheet, I can do the right click. I can go for the rename. And here I can able to make it, sorry, data set. Okay. So I can able to go with that data set for the second data. And here. Okay. And I'm going to choose a state. So the state I'm going to apply into the rows. Okay. Only four states are there. But here I can able to have that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight data sets, but for the second data, I can have only that four states, Karnataka, Kerala, Odisha, and then Tamil Nadu. Okay. Now, when I going to drag that second sales, I can able to make it apply. And then for the state wise, I want to make it a color. I can able to make it color here. Okay. Fine. And then when I'm going to make it sales wise in the label, from here, you can able to make it clear. Okay, fine. So now for the Karnataka, that second sales. Okay, right. That is what a second sheet sales is 4,500. For Kerala, I can have 6,073. Uh, then I have the Odisha, 4,320. And then for Tamil Nadu, I can have 9,523. 9,523. This is that sales for the second data. Okay, right. So first you can target with this two charts, first data and then second data. Now we can able to make it data blend. This three should be there in that one fields. Okay, right. So this is what we have to start from the first. Still we not had done that, uh, what is a data blend. Okay, in third sheet we can able to target this data blending. Now I can able to make it as, sorry, data blending okay is it clear right uh, everybody just uh, enter into that or what is a chat window is it clear right any doubts yeah fine shakti yeah okay fine right so, uh, alia okay and sanjana okay kirti lokesh okay fine so fine so now here, okay, right, good. Okay, I'll just minimize. Okay, so now from this data blending, okay, right. So first I'm going to select this sheet one. That means a first data. Now you can able to go and choose that data menu. Click on this edit relationships, okay, edit blind relationships okay once if you click you can able to get that one small window that is that blend relationships window okay in that blend relationships window you can able to find sheet one first data and sheet one second data okay now you can able to find that sheet one first data and sheet one second data anything you can able to choose as a primary what i said from previous okay you can able to choose anything so now I'm going to choose, okay, example, sheet one, second data, I'm going to prefer as data source, okay, sheet one, I, I'm going to choose the second data is that my primary, okay, I, I, this is the top most I'm going to work with that, you can choose first also, okay, first data also, no issues, okay, fine, now, once if you click that uh, custom, that moment, you can choose the field, okay, which field you want to go for that connect okay why because uh, automatic means already it is data blended with that state wise okay why because the state column is same so it is made at that uh, what is it both of same but which one is my target my target is region and then location is my target okay fine so that moment i am going to choose as custom okay fine i'm going to add it so once if you choose that custom you can click that button can be called as add button 
and from here which is my target i am my target is location is my target that is what in primary so what is a data source field in the secondary one you have to choose as region okay fine is it clear so you have to choose location and you want to choose that region from the both the sides from the primary and then from the secondary so if you set it that uh, primary with that first data okay you have to choose region and then locations okay anything else okay anything is vice versa okay anything is fine it's uh, it, it will be indicated as that the fields must be get what is that if you have to be get connected that's enough okay so you have to choose location from the primary data source field from the secondary data source field you have to choose as region okay right and once if you click okay button and next you have to suppose to click okay okay is it clear right okay so the data blend for the connections is very important is it clear right for everyone yes sir yeah fine okay i'll just minimize so now once we done it okay right so this two datas i can able to make it display in one session okay in that data blend okay in that first sheet right okay is that sheet one of first data i am going to choose state okay right and that i am going to apply into that rows and then i am going to choose the first sales from here okay now you can see that the first data source will comes under that the blue color tick mark right so that is what the data blend is applied between the database okay so in that there is some column okay there is some one column they given that link between the relationships so that moment immediately you can able to understand that green color indications okay fine now for the state i can able to apply that color okay and i am going to apply that label to that sales okay fine now i'll just close now i can find that uh, whatever that eight states which is there i can able to drag it now go to that second one now you can able to see that automatically the state column is get linked up okay right so why because we given that link only for that uh, what is that location and then what is it region we not had given that link for that state automatically the state is get interlinked okay right that is the data blend work okay right so you need to get that data blend options now here you can see that we applied only for the location and region okay but automatically it will be get linked up with that state to okay fine so now once if you get selected this sheet one of data second data take that second sales apply into that columns okay and now you can able to feel okay right so what has happened just make you move the cursor okay first data sales is 23105 and then what about that second sales it contains 4500 okay right so next you can able to find so first data sales is 11539 and then for that uh, second sales is 6073 okay right but i am not getting that data okay remaining fields are null in that first data i have maharashtra but in second total that means second sales i am not finding that maharashtra in first data i am getting that odisha and in second i am not getting odisha so in first data i have on a punjab and here i don't have punjabs so that means it telling that four nulls okay fine it is telling that four nulls are there four fields are missing things okay right so that we going to make it find and then we going to make the total sales this is not a total sales okay right so what we have to under what we need to do that this 23105 first sales plus second sales of 4500 okay we are getting my point here right i'll take a calci so 23000 uh okay i'll place the cursor okay right so 23105 plus okay 4500 so total value is total 
sales value is 27,605 is that what is the total amount. This is what I need to get it in the presentations. Okay. If I have that only one field is same. Okay. Right. So now let's start. Now I'll just make it make. I'll just hide it off. Okay. Right. So now I need to create the calculated fields for that both the things for first sales and then for the second sales. So place a cursor here in this uh, the space which you have that white color. Right. So right click. Click on this create calculated field. I'll just erase. I'm going to give that total sales. Okay. Right. I, I given that. What is it? Total sales. So what is the total sales? Which one I'm going to, I taken that as a primary, as a sheet one. If you have first data, no issues. Okay. Right. So if it is first data, you simply, you can write, what is that? Sum of second sales. Okay. Right. You understand, right? Okay. So if it is in first sheet one of second data, simply you can write sum of second sales. Okay. If it is their first data, sum of first sales. Okay. That you can able to make it mark. Okay. Right. So once if you done, I'm going to choose that first data of total sales. So click on this total uh, first data set and go and take that so one second i'll just make it mark of sum okay after that sheet one of first data click that file go and choose that first sales and just make it drag okay fine so two times sales is happened not required it why because that moment it is giving that uh, the calculation contains error so one i will remove it off fine now it's telling that the calculation is valid Okay, right. The sum of second sales plus sum of sheet one data of the first sales. Okay, right. So this is the formula. I'm going to click OK button and I'm going to click OK. Okay. Now you can drag this total sales calculated field. You can apply into that column sections. Now you can able to place the cursor. So what is the total amount? So that first sales is Okay, right. So what is the first sales? So now, uh, no, sir, I, I don't want to see this 23,000. I don't want to see this 11,000. I don't want to see this 4,500. No issues. What we will do from here, I will remove that. Uh, what is that? That uh, uh, total sales, I can able to apply into that label. Okay, right. So you can able to find that. Okay, right. So first, the first is there, right? Okay, so this why because we are working everything into that one chart. So the first sales is there, right? That you can able to make it drop. Okay, right? Now you can able to find that uh, first sales. Why? Because uh, instead of telling that, when you're placing the cursor, okay, easily you can able to understand. Okay, which one you want? What I want? I want the total sales. Okay, right? I want the total sales for that particular column. Okay, so now, uh, is it clear, right? I, or I want to repeat again one more time. Can you follow in this, right? Yeah, fine, fine, Kitty. Yeah, one second. Okay, I'll just remove that uh, back to that logic. Okay, right. So right. So now what we done? We just created the total sales, right? I'll just remove that. Okay. So we have that first sales of first data and second sales. Now this total sales I'm going to apply into that total sales here. Okay, when I move the cursor only, I'm getting the total sales. Okay, right? I don't want to move the cursor and after seeing that my total sales is 27,605. Okay, right? So before, can you see that we applied that first, right? One label we applied from the first sales value. So first sales value, it is telling 23,000. If I applied second data sales means it will apply that 4,500. Correct, right? So one second. Now I'll let you know that. I'll just remove that first cell. Now, when I'm applying that second sales, it is telling that 4,500. I, I don't want that. Okay. I, I don't want that 4,500. What I want, I want that total sales that I can able to drag and then I can able to apply into the labels. Okay. This moment you can able to understand that, that total sales is 27,000. 
So just drag and then you can apply into that labels. That's it. Okay. So drag and then you can tell that my first sales in that Karnataka is 23,000. For second sales is 4,500. The total sales is 27,605. Okay. Right. So graphically we can able to understand the data. Right. Is it clear? Right. Uh, Kirti, is it clear? So the calculation field is still coming uh -huh. error. Can you please yeah. repeat? I will. I will click on this calculated field. Mm -hmm. So here, or I can write one more time. Okay, I will remove that uh, the field. Right click. I will delete it off. Yeah, I removed that data blending calculated field. Now I can click on this create calculated field. I am going to give that total sales here okay right so what i given i given that total sales so that moment what i'm telling you know select that sheet one of second data select this one that moment you can just type sum and then open bracket sum open bracket drag that second sales okay right and then make it plus make it plus write that sum okay write that sum click on that first data set okay click on the first data set drag that first sales and then okay so this moment if you drag if you are, you are getting that error right the calculation contains error Nothing else, yes. two times sum is created, right? One time you just remove it off. That's it. Now it's correct. Now it now you're getting that, Kiti? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, fine. Now I'm going to click apply. Now I'm going to click OK button. Okay. So once if you're done, drag that total sales, apply into that columns. Okay. So you are getting that uh, what is it? The total sales. Okay, right? The total sales of what is it okay so karnataka is total sales is 27605 okay so this is what we going to look at that okay fine and one more thing and one more thing we have to look at that and what about the remaining states in the total sales what about the remaining sales what about that andhra pradesh what about uh, gujarat and uh, what about uh, maharashtra and what about the punjab okay so these are the nulls okay right so these are the zero okay right so these are that what is that zero values why because in first data in first sales i'm getting that but in second sales i'm not getting the fields okay but in total sales what is that i want that all the states okay correct clear i, I want that all the states supposed to be work on it okay slightly we're going to uh, change it okay so click on this so here you can able to find that four nulls are there right okay so now what we can do click on this total sales right click and go to that edit options okay so we're going to solve that some of the missing fields are there right missing states are here that we're going to solve it now right click on this total sales go to that edit option okay right so that second sales it contains some what is it missing fields right in that second field some we have that missing fields okay so for that second call for this person okay only for this we can able to write it off okay not for all entire formula so here before the sum i am going to write one function name can be called as z n that means non zero okay right so we are going to work with zero null i am telling that if you have some null values okay but don't affect that other columns okay make it as empty okay so the bracket you have to be close after the second sales okay make sure that z n okay right zero null open bracket and close bracket is it clear right for everyone i just edited this particular column Okay, so now everyone just enter into that our chat window. Is it clear?
yes you just add that uh, what is it that z okay right so z n open bracket and close bracket for the second sales not for the entire formula okay fine so first is okay so we have to target only for the sales of the second one okay right is it clear yes fine okay uh, what about surabhi um, nitya sanjana yeah fine fine perfect uh, shreya is it clear shakti ananya yeah good right 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 perfect yeah alia okay fine right so let's start so now i just added that zn only for the second sales i am going to click apply i am going to click okay button now you, the problem is solved okay fine clear so now you can able to get that on the pradesh now you can able to get that uh, uh, what is that total sales of here now you can able to get the total sales so here that's it over for okay right so now you have to start to create that uh, what is that our dashboard okay right so once when we are creating the dashboards what we have to supposed to do we going to target now right right so already we have that first data already we have in a second data why i need this presentation why i need this first why i need this second? i need only the third one right so from the column of the first sales okay from the column of the first state just remove it from the column of the second state just remove it this is what i want okay you are getting my point right right so remove that two uh, what is that uh, some of that first sales and some of the second sales why because already we have an a dashboard from the first and second sheet so in that third presentations why i need that okay right so i am not required it so what i will do from the first sales i will remove from the second sales also i'll remove it off okay i'll just drag it enough so now the total sales of andhra pradesh 107 gujarat 6921 and karnataka is 27605 okay fine now that's all now you going to create that dashboard okay fine i'm going to click on this dashboard now and go for that new dashboards okay fine so what you want to do same similar kind apply some background images for that uh, for your company what is that total sales mm -hmm. okay right i can go with that uh, what is it format dashboard background color i'm going to apply as black okay fine and i'm going to make it as floating the first data i just drag then i can able to apply it here i'm going to make it drag okay and then the state wise i don't need here so what i'll do i'll just uh, click and then i can able to make it sure little bit i'll make it bigger okay. and then for the second data again i can able to place it here i hope uh, you have that better uh, what is that ui uh, for that your data uh, uh, yeah i just look that uh, your ui is better okay right so for our just for our presentations i'll make it little smaller okay fine for the last data blending that's it i can make it little format and then i can able to increase that font size
okay so still you can able to make it some applying that background image and all the things you can able to apply it okay fine and then uh, if you select uh, you can able to go and format that your table also okay fine and then uh, you can able to make it uh, shading uh, right and then you can able to work with some uh, what is it worksheets and then uh, you can able to uh, what is it make some colors uh, okay right so if you click okay black what will happen it will go on into that uh, the background is also black and immediately that is also will goes black okay fine and then from this i don't want i will remove that and for that next sheet okay you can find that second presentation right select that second presentation go to that format okay fine and uh, go to that uh, uh, what is that shading okay you can able to find the shading right format go to that shading for that worksheet i can able to choose as black that will goes black and from here okay right so same similar kind for this i can able to choose format shading option for the worksheets again i'm going to click black okay fine so once when i'm done it again you can able to select it off okay right and then uh, if you want you can able to choose uh, the rows uh, what is the color if you want to apply for the fields the state okay right so for that fields i can select state okay you can able to make it as white and make it bold for the values choose first sales again i can make it white make it bold you can able to make it mark here and same similar kind for that second choose state make it white and then make it bold same similar kind for the third one again choose a state white and then make it bold okay right and then for the fields for the state and here uh, if you want to make it that blend okay right so for that before we leave, we can able to make it uh, what is that a little bit uh, color or something okay fine okay right this is what we going to work with that okay right that's it fine that's a presentations happy products private limited okay right for the first sales in the first season so for the total eight states i got well for the second season okay i got only that sales for the four state what is my total sales which is happened from the total eight sales okay that means for the eight states okay so in which state i am getting more profit from the first season and then for the second season in which so i can able to make it data blend in excel we can able to call as consolidate but here we have to call as data blend when we have that some common fields at least one should be there with same uh, values so now we can able to find so karnataka we got the total of 27605 amount okay fine is it clear right yeah so same similar we done it with a little more presentation is it clear is it clear right any doubts which you have for everyone is it clear excuse me any doubts Excuse. Yeah, is it clear, right? Uh, Surabhi, Nitya, Sanjana, Kirti, yeah, fine. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Fine, fine, fine. Good. Right. So this is the first task today uh, from the session uh, number eleven, Alia. Okay, fine. Good. Right. Okay. So this is the thing uh, we have to make a task. Okay, fine. Uh, in the session. And then still one more we're going to target. Okay, I'll just give that uh, outline. Okay, right. So you people start work with that. Okay, so two data sets which I shared. Okay, right. So this is nothing but uh, what we done. This is one of the advanced data blending options in Tableau. Okay, for the presentations wise, we just worked on it. 
okay right i hope you can able to make it a uh, little bit similar you can able to make it okay right why because you can able to get some uh, few queries in the sense later once if you done it you can able to come back to the dashboard you can put background image uh, you can make it some whatever that beautiful uh, ui pictures if you want you can able to make it and you can apply with that you can able to look at that your presentation wise okay fine and then make sure that uh, write that uh, text it's developed by your name okay right and some of the people they will take a uh, pick off your dashboards and then they can able to go for some other things okay that's like uh, mention that you are text in that developed by your name that means it's like similar kind of copyrights okay fine so right all good so this is the first session uh, what we have to look at from this advanced data blending and we can able to go for that next concept okay i'll give some on assignment for you okay right and let's see who can able to complete this task okay right so i need one first task okay so task number 1 okay right so what is the task number one i want there is one movie data set okay i'll be that movie data set it contains some few uh, data you think okay right so i'll just minimize this okay everybody will just look at the data set how it is get looks sorry it is there in downloads okay this is the data sets which i shared in our whatsapp group you can able to make it download it okay right so this file format is csv file format not in excel file so you have to import in that text file options okay right so here there is this is the data sets this data sets is not looks presentation wise okay why because lot of things are there here okay fine so now control right arrow that means the last field of columns 26th column 27 okay sorry 27th column sorry this is up to z right 26 alphabets 26 27 28 okay right so total 28 columns are there shift sorry control uh, i can use uh, okay it is not activated okay my ms office package okay fine so here i can able to find okay that option is uh, for the color i can press control down arrow maybe the last set i can have up to so can can you see that 50 double four data are there that means 5044 records are there in that particular things and then year of that movies are there uh, i i hope uh, 2005 i guess okay right i, I can find 2006 uh, i can find 2004 or maybe uh, yeah, 2005 or maybe or uh, below yeah uh, maybe all the movie collections uh, 199 uh, 1999 and then uh, all the things almost okay right so come back to that our task okay fine so here what is the data sets can you see that uh, there is a director james cameron right okay right is it clear for everyone are you ready with this task right is it clear so just make it mark uh, in your note okay right so what is the task which i am giving for you okay right the same similar kind you have to be make it presentation in that our dashboards okay so work with that sheet one okay right so work with that sheet one for the first task like this okay and second and third you can able to everything once if you completed come back to the dashboard okay right so put the heading for imdb international movie database that's a heading you can able to set up and then you can set some background images of uh, book my show whatever okay right so it should be lex cool okay right i want to know that uh, who can able to make it uh, attract you Uh, dashboards okay that is what the task from today okay fine so is it clear right so can i start the conditions shall i shall uh, i start to assign that scenario for you yes
yeah fine sanjana good uh, for rest okay so now let's start now okay so once we da what is it once we started okay right so once we started so what we can able to supposed to do now okay now here you just look at that uh what i'm going to do okay I i'll open this task number one okay right so task number one i want to display okay right to display james cameron movie list okay right first i want that james cameron movie name list okay right what are the movies this particular director is done that's it that is what uh, in the first dashboard that means sorry uh, first sheets you have to replace it second one number 2 to display sorry okay right to display movie names okay to display the movie names imdb score that means movie score imdb that means international uh, database score i want above 8.0 i want all the movie names okay right so where i can able to get that above uh, movie name no issues okay from this data sets only you can able to find that okay imdb score you can able to find it giving 7.9 7.1 6.8 8.5 so automatically this particular movie will be get generated what is that movie name so that means 8.5 is there right so what what is that movie name so just you can able to make it drag movie title okay so movie title is in the sense the dark knight rise batsman movie okay right so this movie name will be displayed okay right 8.5 and then uh, where i can able to find above 8 yeah here okay right so captain america okay that is that one more movie name okay that i can able to find it okay right so same similar kind you can understand that uh, imdb score is there this is that okay this is that uh, next you have to be work on it okay right so second one is to display movie names imdb score greater than 8 right this is that second task third task to display okay right to display okay uh, movie years to display movie names okay right so here also it's movie names okay right here also what are the movie names is done by james cameron this particular director okay so to display movie names that year you have to be make it mark in 2015 to 2017 only this two years 2015 to 2016 or else only for 2016 enough this is the second task sorry third task okay right so let's back to that fourth task okay right to display movie names okay right to display movie names that language only from equals to english this is the first scenario only english i don't want any other language okay right understand is it clear right mm -hmm. so the language only i need that english and then journal sorry journal it should be there only for sorry uh, i'll i'll give that one more idea what is it horror 
so the language must be english and genre must be horror movies okay i i don't want any fantasy movie uh, thriller movies and romantic movies i don't want okay my target is only horror movies so the language must be english genre must be uh, what is that horror and then year sorry year is greater than is equal i'll make it bigger to understand 2002 2018 okay fine so 2005 to 2018 okay this is the range of years okay i, I i'll make it one by one so this is the first this is second this is third and this is fourth the first one is the language must be english second one is genre must be horror and third one is that a year is must be between this 2002 2018 then last one imdb score okay right it's above 7.0 right so this is the assignment task okay fine if this task is completed by anyone almost uh, or everyone okay right so you are not a beginner in tableau you are in I, i i can't tell that uh, in expert okay right so why because expert in the sense still we need to work with lot of dashboards templates from upcoming classes i will let you know that how to become a uh, the experts in tableau uh, for bi tools okay right so if you completed that this task you can make sure that you are not a beginner in tableau okay right so you are an intermediate you are an intermediate in that part okay right so you are not a beginners and you are not that uh, data analyst for that and you can be confident you can able to start if any work if it is available in tableau for the bi tools and one more thing i need to tell you that right now there is one more software is more famous power bi okay right microsoft product maybe the first class or second class which i say Uh, don't think about it that bi tool is different this is the first and most famous bi tools in market once if you learned this tableau the power bi is very simple to handle okay right clear and if you have any chances if you get any job for this power bi in future okay right so you can able to apply for that you know that tableau Uh, bi tools how to handle for this all the uh, property works okay right so they will take up uh, compared to power bi this tableau is very difficult and make uh, more powerful tools so almost if you have that any job or the tableau or power bi you can able to directly can able to go for it so i can make uh, so this part you can take a challenge okay right i'll give you that uh, the time for you so from tomorrow by 6:30 before our session is get start okay right so make sure you people uh, complete this task 1 task 2 and task 3 and task 4 okay right if you want you can create that final dashboard also okay right so i i i and i don't i don't have any issues with that you can also create uh, what is that final dashboard i can send this on uh, the notes uh, or you can simply you can take a pic in your mobile phone or screenshot okay right so for this uh, when you are working the moment you can able to easily understand okay right is it clear for everyone yeah everybody you just uh, make sure that in our window chat window is it clear in me sir yeah so these language uh, genre and all are the this thing sir like the, uh, those are the qualities needed for that aha uh -huh. uh can i enter into the journal sections yeah here okay so here you can able to find the journals action adventure yeah fantasy and science fi 
and i want that uh, what is that only you can able to find uh, what is it horror movie okay right i don't want any other movies here i want only that horror movie in that movie okay right so i, I just given that genre right horror so now uh, let's give that one small introduction in that i given one tricky part to solve it so not simply work in that okay so that is uh, i will let you know that how to solve that one second i'll pick the data Okay, I, I see. Okay, fine. So now I entered into the journal section. I hope uh, Keithy is understanded that you are, what is that, my uh, particular task, which I guess. Okay, yes. you said that, uh, what is that, horror. Sir, I couldn't able to find that horror in that. Yeah, yes, that is what my important task, which I given. Okay, so can you find it, this particular data, action, adventure, horror? I'm not getting only horror. Okay, right? So what is my task? I want this name also. Okay, right? In some movies, it contains only horror, but some movies contains action, adventure. Uh, what is that? Horror too. But I, I want this movie. I want this movie name. Okay, right? So this is little tricky part. Okay, if I have that particular name with some other collection of words. Okay, right? So for example, what I'm telling, so my point is, I want that welcome uh, word whichever the words are there okay right whichever that uh, the lines it contains that welcome i want the lines the welcome is not that particular in one line okay right if it is there okay no issue if the welcome it combination of some other sentence even i want to filter i need to do that that is that main task okay right so what is the task you have to supposed to do you need to match that particular word created calculated field you have to suppose to write it off okay right so that is what so you can try that so what i'm telling you know i want that you people have to be sit and you have to be work on it so how long you can able to make it clear this data i'm happy about it you can able to feel it intermediate okay right so that moment so see that uh, most of the companies, okay, if you're going for a job or if you're going for some, uh, what is that, task or something, we are not expecting that you have, you have, you are the people, uh, we're not at expecting that you need to complete the task without errors, without any issues, without any problem, okay, right? So what is a company is expecting? Whether the particular candidate is working for that particular task or not, whether it, they are trying or not, that is what we want, okay, right? So that moment so we can understand that the people are working so the people are trying something if even if you not get that particular filtering that or uh, kirti i really appreciate that uh, that particular question what you asked okay right so definitely uh, that uh, you can able to get the point yeah i really appreciate uh, yes so same similar kind what i'm telling you no you can go for this particular uh, what is that filtering the data Okay, you can able to easily, uh, what is that? You can able to understand that. Okay, right? You can just start and work with that. Check how long you can able to complete this four task. Okay, along with that final dashboard. Okay, so whichever if it is not working, I can able to help you out. Okay, fine. Is it clear, right? Is it clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. Fine. Good. I appreciate. Uh, yeah, Nitya. Yeah, Sanjana. Yes, Alia. Uh, Shreya, Surabhi, Shakti, Ananya, and Kritika. Is it clear, right? Is it the task is clear? And some few people, they are not attending that uh, sessions for so long time. I guess Tanya, Trisha, uh, I'm not sure. About it. Okay, fine. Right. Right, I'm uh, not sure about one more person, name is not getting displayed. Uh, still, it isn't connecting, no one told me. Okay, right. Okay, all good. So, uh, I'll end up the sessions today. Okay, 
So tab the sessions I'll end up today and tomorrow uh, up to that you can have the time. Okay, so make sure that you can start work with this uh, particular task. Let's see who can able to complete this task and uh, make your name as an intermediate positions. Okay, fine, right? So, okay, I'll end up the session. So see you tomorrow from uh, at the time of 6.30. Okay, so see you, bye. Any doubts is there, right? Is it clear? Any doubts? It's clear? Yeah, or I, yeah fine, good. So for everybody, so we can able to see from tomorrow's sessions. Okay, right? See you, bye.